becoming the wife of a man who already has a wife than to become public property. And you know in the Western world, it's very common. People have mistresses, very common. The statistics of USA tell us that on average, one man has eight different sexual partners before he settles down with one life partner. Some may have 10, some may have 20, some may have 30, some may have less, two or one. On average, eight different sexual life partners before he settles down with one permanent one. Having a mistress is no problem. You can have one, 10, 20, 30, no problem. But if you ask any woman, when a woman becomes a mistress, she doesn't have honor. She's degraded. She doesn't have any rights. As compared to a woman, when a woman is the second wife of a man, she gets honor, she gets respect, she gets the rights. We in Islam, alhamdulillah, give the women the due rights. For the Western world, they can easily agree with the philosophy of a man having several mistresses. But a person having more than one wife, it doesn't go down their throat. It doesn't go down their throat. Islam has a solution to the problems of humankind. Islam has the solution. And Islam, besides speaking good things, don't do adultery, don't do fornication, etc. Islam has a solution to all these problems. If you analyze most of the major religions, they speak good things. Don't rob, don't cheat, etc. Islam says the same. But the difference between Islam and the other religion is that Islam, besides speaking good things, it shows you a way how to achieve that state of goodness. How to achieve that state in which these particular principles, laws can be followed. For example, all the major religions, including the Western world, says that a person should not rob. If you read the Constitution of America and Europe, it says that a citizen should not rob. And if he robs, there are certain remedies given, but it's not showing its colors. Islam too says that you should not rob. But Islam has a solution. It shows you a way how to achieve that state in which people will not rob. Islam has a system of zakat. That is every rich person who has a saving of more than the nisab level, 85 grams of gold, he should give 2.5% of that saving in charity every lunar year. If every rich person gives zakat, poverty will be eradicated from this world. There will not be a single human being who will die of hunger. 